Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Covid Tran in the new BZ721. Um, the rocket boosted Chinese heavy that you could get on the auction. Um, so yeah, why did I want to feature this vehicle? Well, firstly because it's new, obviously. <laughs> obviously going to feature um, all of those new vehicles. But I wanted to kind of look at the differences between this vehicle um, and the texture equivalent, the BZ-75. So those tanks are very similar, very, very similar. Same top speed, same reverse speed. It's like they took the BZ-75, lowered the alpha damage, increased the DPM and, and the gun handling, made it a bit better, and removed one of the rocket boosts. And, and that's how you got the BZ-72. It's kind of like... I find it similar to the E100, right? The E100 with the big 750 alpha damage gun and the smaller 560. Um, so the BZ-75 and the BZ-72-1 is, is kind of like that. Better gun handling on the smaller BZ-72-1's gun, but yeah, less alpha damage. So let's see over here which one is actually better. I mean, it obviously depends on the player and the play style that you prefer if you like big boy damage guns go for the bz 71 if you like the smaller more accurate um vehicles the bz 72 one is the better option unfortunately you can't get it anymore because it was in the auction uh, but here we go 1v1 bz 72 one versus the bz 75 both of these vehicles have very large capotas very large weak spots on top of the vehicle they have the exact same gun depression they have the, it's just Everything is the same. Lower plate is the weak part. Big components are the weak part. Same gun depression. Same top speed, reverse speed. Uh, the BZ-72 one does have better terrain resistances. So it will be faster overall. But there we go. There we go. 1v1. And never mind. The Hori 3 just took a shell. The Hori 3 is ruining our 1v1 moment over here. Okay, look at this. Kofi Chan trying to use the lovely 10 degrees of gun depression that the BZ-72-1 has. Trying to find the component on the BZ-75. Trying to find a shot over here. Maybe the top of the gun. There we go. The top of the gun of the BZ-75 is actually another weak spot. And just in case some people don't know that, you have the two components at the sides and you have, like, the gun. When it uses the gun depression, you will be able to hit the top part above the gun and that will be a weak spot on the BZ-75 as well. Um, another difference is the caliber of the guns. As you can see, this gun has that 130, if I'm not mistaken, millimeter, right? 130 millimeter on the BZ-72-1. And the BZ-75 has the 152. So it will be able to overmatch 50 um, millimeter plates. While the BZ-72-1 won't be able to overmatch those plates. So, you know, it's kind of like, like I said, the E-100 with the big gun, with the small gun. Everything else very, very similar. But it seems like so far, so far, Kovi Chan is actually getting the upper hand on the BZ-75, on the enemy team, putting two already into the BZ-75 and not taking any hits in return. But yeah, the North doesn't seem to be very healthy. So, Kovi Chan, what are you going to do over here against the BZ-72, against the BZ-75, trying to find the shots on the Capona, but they just know. They're trying to bait those shells. Ah, there we go. Actually hit Kovachan didn't pen with that 650 alpha, like I said earlier. Chunky boy gun, but a little less accurate, less DPM. And the Hover 3 finishes off the Super Conquer. What is Kovachan trying to do here? Trying to go around, maybe go to the BZ-72 one. They have very weak lower plates, like I said. Trying to catch the Capola over here as well. There we go, into the Capola. Managed to bounce the AP round from the enemy BZ. And now the Hover 3 is just going in. Just going to put a big chunky boy shell in 623. Can we get a high roll to maybe finish off this BZ? Unfortunately, unfortunately, we actually get a low roll. 515, 560 is the alpha damage. Horror 3 trying to go forwards. Trying to finish off this BZ 72. One misses and dies, unfortunately. But this means that Kobe Chan can easily finish off the enemy BZ 72. One and now maybe get around the enemies are trying to flank. That tank tree equivalent, the BZ-75, try to finish off the other BZ-72 over here. There we go. 113, holding them in one side. Kovic and going from the other side into the lower plate, the very weak lower plate of the BZ-72. He's trying to rocket boost into Kovic and over here, doing some damage. Unfortunately, he did shut down the Yang Panzer. Kovic doesn't want to let him drown. 
And then we go into the Coppola. That piece of 75 is actually trying to be cheeky. Trying to dry, drown, sorry, Kovic-chan over here. Not being able to do that because, you know, we have rocket boosters as well over here. So what if it's one less? So what if it's one less? If we have five instead of six, we still have enough. And there we go. Just securing the win in this eastern area, in the heavy fight area. But as you can see, the north already collapsed, is already dying. So Kovichan is going to go back, use the two remaining rocket boosters, maybe. Do you know, maybe you should have saved it for the slope over here. Maybe, possibly, probably. Trying to defend against the four enemy vehicles pushing through the north. And, you know, also the tank destroyers might start arriving from the middle. Might start coming from the south now that the heavies have to retreat. But I really like what Kovic is doing here, using that final rocket boost just to avoid this kill area. This is a very dangerous area because if you just drive slowly over towards the back, you can get hit by tank destroyers in the middle area of the map. You don't want that, especially on that FV. Just avoid that rocket boost, even if it's the last one. Go into position. Use the 10 degrees of gun depression <clears throat> that this vehicle has and try to find another one of the auction vehicles right the t22 medium that was sold first in this winter auction where is the t22 medium though there we go there's the turret of the t22 medium the turret of the t22 medium is actually pretty strong do need to watch out for that um but the hull the hull is very bad the hull is very poor on that t22 medium just don't shoot it in the side shoot it in the front part there we go one into the side of the wz113 gft and like i said those tank destroyers are starting to arrive from the middle and this is just a base defense game defend your base from all sides while the enemy team just sends in everything they have so oh, there we go that looked like an fv shell trying to hit kobe chan over here luckily that missed and we stay with all of our hit points, right? Whew, a lot going on at the same time. 8-6 in favor of the enemy team, down by 3,000 hit points. What is Kovichan going to do? They actually have most of the hit points on their team. You can go north, try to defend, but then you'll get hit by the TDs, right? Trying to hold from the middle, from the south, trying to be everywhere. The team needs, trying to catch the C-22 medium into the Coppola, maybe? Maybe? No? Decides not to fire at the T-22 medium, and there's the STRV, another one of those cheeky tank destroyers pushing through the middle. Easy, into the side of the STRV, doing 600 damage with the heat round. But they are catching the allies towards the north in the back side, now we need to do the damage. We need to do it quickly over here, Kovic, I'm going for the TVP, no going after the STRV instead. Where's the STRV? This is such an annoying area, those, uh, those tank traps, oh my goodness, that was a big chunky boy shell, I'm going to the side of the T-22 medium, rolling high for 654, but now the T-22 medium is going after the FV, need to protect your FV here, need to shut down this T-22 medium quickly before he finishes off your FV, going after the TVP instead, trying to defend the north, unfortunately that hits the bunker area, now the T-22 medium can actually finish off your ref, you don't want that, try to finish off the T-22 medium, the 2684 finishes off the TVP, unfortunately the T-22 medium finishes off the FV, and now, and now, that means that it is 11-9 in favor of the enemy team, but up by 800 hit points this time, okay, okay, relax, take your time, find the shots, find the enemy team over here, you have all of the hit points with your 200 LT, but you know, that vehicle doesn't have any armor. It has okay-ish turret armor, but you won't bounce too many shells from those chunky boy guns that the enemy team has. 2684 getting shut down, unfortunately, by the W713 GFD over towards the south. What is Kovichan going to do here? 5,000 damage already, a couple of kills. The campaigns has done two hit points, just put one HG round into them. And it will end them. T22 medium. Spotted. Go into the hull. There we go. Hull of the T22 medium is very weak, even if you see it, like, sideways. Don't try to shoot the side of the T22 medium, because it has very nice side armor. Shoot the front plate. There we go. As you can see, Kovachan doing right here could have shot the side of the T22 medium, which is what most people would do, right? They'll be like, eh, side armor, easy damage. No. Side armor of the T22 medium is the strong part. You need to hit that piked nose on the front of the T22 medium to do the damage. 12 to 10. What is Kovachan going to do? Unfortunately, doesn't pen. 
The WZ 113 GFT over there shooting right into the gun. That vehicle has quite a lot of armor on that upper area. Need to find the weak spots. Need to find those shots on the WZ, on the SDRV, on the T22 medium, all of those vehicles. There we go. Double Z going forward, switching to that heat round once again, trying to catch the upper part. There we go. The weaker area and getting a pen. Just don't get penned yourself. Don't get penned yourself. Like the WZ is now a one shot. After getting hit, okay, the T100LT finishes off. The WZ, lovely two shots by the T100LT over there. Campans is a one shot. T22 mediums a one shot. FV is actually full health over there. Hit the frontal plates of the T22 medium. Going after the FE, switching to an HE round and doing only 613 with that HE pen. Well, it's 640, so it, only, it was only a small, a small low roll. But can we get a chunky boy roll this time? Can we get it this time, though? And it doesn't pen. And it doesn't pen, doing 390 damage, leaving the FE on 600 points, like the FE misses. One more shell, one more shell will do it. 281. There we go, FE's down. T100 LT doing a lot of damage here as well. Up to 8,000 damage already. T22 medium is going after the Rhine Tal Panzer Wagen. And the Panzer Wagen actually finishes off the Kampanzer 07 b There's a lot of stuff going on at the same time. What is Kovachan going to do here with an AP round loaded? Maybe switch to an HE round. Intuition switch. There we go. The HE comes in. 36 damage is all you need into the side of the turret. Easy kill. Easy damage. 5 kills. 8,125 damage done over here with only the SDRV on the enemy team remaining. And, and, you know, this, this is all we need to do, right? Defend the base, let the enemy teams come toward you, and you, you get the win. SDRV on 100 hit points, the Panzerwagen just holding him there, 50 meters away. Who's going to get there first? Panzerwagen, T100 LT, Kovichan, who's going to get there? Who's going to get the kill? Is it a top gun? Is it a top gun for Kovichan? Or will the Panzerwagen or the T100 LT get there first? Looks like the T100 LT is the one getting there first and getting the kill cranberry juice. Um, but yeah, this was the BZ-72-1. And this is how you want to play it, right? Exactly like the BZ-75, I'd say. Go forwards, hold down, use the lovely gun depression. Shoot, fall back, shoot, fall back. Don't let them hit you in the weak. Capola's over here, as you can see. Pretty chunky capolas on the BZ-72. You also have a very weak lower plate as well. And yeah, use the gun depression. Shoot. Use the rockets to get into position. Very simple stuff. If you already have the BZ-75, then I think you'll know exactly how to play the BZ-72-1. The question is, do you need the BZ-72 if you already have the BZ-75, right? So, I, I don't think so. I mean, it's very similar gameplay. Um... In all aspects, the gun, you know, you have slightly less alpha damage, but you have more accuracy, you have better DPM. Like I said, if you know the E100, if you know about the big gun and the small gun on the E100, that is kind of the difference um, between the BZ-75 and the BZ-72-1. But anyways, Kovichan with a lovely game, 8,125 damage, 5 kills, just taking that hold down bushy area at the back of the map stopping the enemy from advancing and as you can see getting some kills towards the north towards the south towards the middle after you know creating that graveyard down south as well so gg well played covid chen and let's just go and check the post game stats i guess there we go ace tanker for the 1423 base experience and a high caliber for 8125 damage done over here with the BZ-72-1. 24 shots fired, 19 hit, 15 pen. An, an, an okay ratio, I'd say. Um, you know, when you go on a ridgeline and try to just snipe each other into the cupola, you will miss a lot of shells, you will not pin a lot of shells, like happened over here. But 8,000 damage is always lovely. 4 hits received, 4 did not pen. So the only damage that Kovichan actually took in this game was the ramming damage by the BZ-75 that tried to drown them earlier in the game. One vehicle spotted, 7 damage, 5 killed, 229 spotting damage. Um, even making a little bit of a profit here, 12,000 credits, because Kovichan did fire some heat rounds, but, you know, tried to go for regular rounds when needed, heat rounds when needed over here. 
and just just an overall lovely game of World of Tanks. Yeah, the problem with those tier 10 special vehicles is that they're not premium, right? They can like use the crews from your vehicles, from other vehicles, but they won't make you extra uh, credits. They won't make you extra the bonds or something. They'll just get the usual tier 10 resources, but you can still use your crews on it. So it's it's kind of like. Is it really worth it? You know, that's what I always think when I see those Titan vehicles. Yes, they are awesome. Yes, some of them are fun to play. But do I really want to spend my gold, my resources on a vehicle that doesn't actually have any sort of resource gathering um, ability or something, right? Um, but if you are a tank collector, I think this vehicle is going to be lovely. If you like the Beezer 75, this tank is going to be lovely for you. If not, then, uh, yeah, maybe just, you know, skip this vehicle next time it is on sale, because it will be on sale. It will be on sale again. Just, you know, maybe in, like, half a year, a year from now, all those vehicles are going to be on sale again. Don't worry about that. If you missed it, during the first auction, there's always a second, there's always a third. There's always a sale on the premium shop if you really want those vehicles. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. BZ-72, kind of like the faster, more accurate, smaller damage. I like the medium version um, of the BZ-75, pretty much. But this is it, Kung Chen, GG, getting 8,000 damage in this battle. Amazing game. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you think about the BZ-72-1? How much did he spend to get this vehicle? Do you think it was worth it? Do you kind of regret maybe not trying to go for the BZ? Or maybe you regret trying to go for the BZ. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this vehicle. And thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Ta-ta's everyone. Have a good one.